Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It's been a while since we've done one of these little topic type vlog videos on here. So um, today I'm going to talk about some games I want to play. These are games that I've not played yet, uh, have not completed most of them. A couple of them I played a little bit of, but uh, these are just games that I really want to play. I'm trying to narrow it down to the games I'm most interested and engaged by and uh, try to narrow it down that way so you're not going to see like Kingdom Hearts on here. Like I'm, I'm kind of trying to cut out anything that I'm a bit wishy-washy on in terms of if I want to play it. These are things I know I want to play. So let's go through. First off, we got Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana. I decided to throw these on one slide uh, since, you know, I, they're part of the same series. Um, I love Akira Toriyama, fantastic artist, and uh, I love the arts he's done for this game. But Chrono Trigger in particular is one I really wanted to play as well as Secret of Mana. These are essential RPGs I hear, and uh, the SNES is probably my favorite system ever, has some of the best games ever made on it, and uh, I really look forward to playing these someday. And I get torn on when to start these because I wonder if I should uh, record a playthrough or something. Who knows? Who knows? Next is Donkey Kong 64. One uh, people might be <laughs> a little bit surprised I haven't played, but... Uh, nonetheless, Donkey Kong 64 is a game I've wanted to play for a long time, but it's a matter of it's a very difficult game to find and play legally um, without emulating, and I think it's one that I would rather play on a cartridge or something just because uh, 3D games can be a little annoying to emulate, especially since I work off of a laptop, so uh, we'll just have to get to it someday. But yeah, DK64 is one I'd want to play. I don't know if I'd want 100% it because I know that the 100% uh, sort of thresholds are kind of insane, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Next are Final Fantasy 4 and Final Fantasy 6. I played Final Fantasy 7 for the first time last year around November, December, and I fell in love with it. A fantastic game. And um, I played through it twice now, and I played through the remake. And I want to get into these older Final Fantasies, but um, this is an example of a time I actually have played a little bit. I played about an hour and a half, two hours maybe, of Final Fantasy IV, and have just kind of dropped it. It's one I would really like to get back into. And these are just games that, um, again, talking about essential RPGs, um, I'm very interested in playing at some point, especially six. but uh, I figured I would just kind of work my way forward. I've toyed with the idea of kind of playing through each one and uh, working my way up and then actually playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, I know they're not, most of them aren't connected in any significant way where it wouldn't matter, but that's something I've toyed with in the past. But yeah, these are games that I'm also very interested in, in a more traditional fantasy style of uh, RPG. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes, this is one I've never even touched and in fact know very little about because um, outside of the wolf mechanic, I've tried to keep myself absolutely uh, absolutely blind going into it. Um, I put HD on here just because it was the highest quality picture I could find, but yeah, I'm not married to one or the other, the original or the remake. I'm really excited to play it at some point. Um, I need to get to it. Another instance of just haven't had an opportunity to play it um, on hardware yet, and this is one I would really like to play on hardware. I think that'd be the best experience for me personally. And um, I'm a big fan of the Zelda series, uh, Link's Awakening, Majora's Mask, some of my favorite games of all time. And uh, I really look forward to playing this at some point. I just haven't had the opportunity yet, but this one's been on my backlog for a really long time. This is one of the games I wanted to play for the longest. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Um, I know there's also Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, uh, the Twin Snakes. I'm going to be honest, I don't know which one is the true sequel to the original. Um, it's something I'd actually have to research a bit, but I played the original at the beginning of this year back in February, and I thought it was fantastic. And the Metal Gear series is kind of just one you can put in total on, on this list because it's, it's a series I do want to experience from front to back. I don't know if you heard the train in the background there. Anyway, um, one I'd like to experience front to back. I played quite a bit of four, but that was seven, eight years ago at this point. Uh, so I hardly remember anything about that, but I would really like to play the follow-up to Mug Your Solid, whichever one that is. Probably Twin Snakes, but I did get this one just because that clearly says Mug Your Solid 2 on it. Next, uh, this is just a page of a bunch of Mother hacks. Uh, Mother 3, Earthbound Halloween hack, or Mother 3, <laughs> Mother 3 Klaus's Journey, Mother 3 Opposing Force, and Mother Cognitive Dissonance. Uh, games that a lot of you are probably really, really, um, surprised I haven't played. 
But again, um, I've been very focused on that original trilogy, trilogy for a long time, and even though I'm vaguely familiar with a little bit of some of these, I have not played any of them and will like to get to them at some point, and especially now are ones that I would probably want to play on a stream or in a playthrough series or something like that. So that's primarily the reason I haven't gotten to these yet. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5, another example of putting these together because they're the same series. Um, I've only played Persona 3 Fez. I put about 35, 40 hours into that and then gave up on it. Yep, because I'm kind of a psychopath and uh, didn't find myself enjoying it enough, so I decided to stop playing it. Uh, however, these are ones I'm very interested in because I heard 3 Fez is kind of different from the other ones. It's a bit of a black sheep. And uh, these ones I've been wanting to play forever, especially for Golden. Uh, Arcades told me it's fantastic. Uh, my Another really good friend of mine uh, told me it was fantastic. It's, it's a game I've wanted to play for forever. I just was always a kid that had Nintendo consoles, so I didn't have a Vita or anything like that to play it on. But I heard Persona 4 Golden's coming to consoles soon, so maybe that'll finally be my opportunity to take one of these up. And 5, I know, is for PS4, I believe, so... That's a system I actually do have, so I could probably play that sometime in the future. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Believe it or not, this is a game I actually owned. <laughs> I owned it for, like, years um, when I was, like, eight, nine years old and did not know that when uh, you tried to play GameCube games on the Wii, you needed a memory card and a controller for it. That's what I thought the classic controller was for, which, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. obviously that's not what that was for, but... I thought that was compatible, so I got it with my Christmas money that year, and then was never able to play it and get. I uh, was never able to get past the title screen. Very sad. A game I've wanted to play for forever. Uh, maybe someday. I got it for fifteen dollars, which looking back was insane because of how much this game goes for now. Hopefully they re-release it at some point. I feel like there is a good chance of this one coming out again at some point because people love it so much. Who knows though. Shadow of the Colossus. This is game, another one I've wanted to play forever, just haven't had a way to play it. It's a beautiful game. I've seen entire playthroughs of it. I know I know everything to know about it. I just feel like it's something I have to experience myself first. Uh, well, it's something I have to experience on my own additionally. So yeah, that's another one I'm really excited for. Talk about visual storytelling in games, uh, just absolutely gorgeous art direction. It's, a, it's one I'm really excited to get to at some point. I've toyed with the idea of getting the remake over the last year, and um, I might just finally push myself to grab it. Who knows? And finally, any of the Fire Emblem games. Any of them. Um, I played the very beginning of Awakenings, and that's as far as I've gotten into it. I would really like to play one of these um, properly, one of the GBA titles probably, and I think that's something I can really reasonably say to myself will probably happen in the nearest future. Just finally pick one up and knock one out and actually do it. So yeah, that is, uh, that, that's my list. Fire Emblem's here also just because uh, I would like to actually be invested in some of these characters in Smash and stuff, uh, in Super Smash Brothers. And uh, that's actually another very big driving force. I'd like to experience more of the games that characters from the Super Mar that are in the Super Smash Bros. series came from as well. And uh, yes, I will update the description of this video uh, whenever I can, uh, when there are updates, if I played any of these games. But I just want to share with you guys some of the games I really want to play. What are some games you want to play that you haven't experienced yet? Uh, please let me know in the comments. I'd love, to, I'd love to hear that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night.